Welcome to our channel. Today, we're breaking down a complex encounter that unfolded on June 22, 2023, when deputies were called to a local bar about an intoxicated woman attempting to drive home. Let's walk through what happened, step by step. Hey, ma'am. Go ahead and turn that off for me. Go ahead and turn the car off for me. How about? So why are, you, why are you driving if you've been drinking? Deputies arrive at the scene after receiving reports from the bar staff about a patron who was visibly intoxicated and attempting to drive away. An officer approaches the woman, who is still in her vehicle, and politely asks, Hey man, go and turn it off for me. This initial contact is crucial, as it sets the tone for the interaction. I'm going home right now. Okay, well, I can tell you're extremely intoxicated right now. Can you? You're slurring your speech, you're... You're here at a bar. They're telling me that you're stumbling out of here. You can barely park your they car. They tell you that? They call, they're the one that called me. To them? They're the one that called me. You can barely That's stand what? right now. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Are you sure? I am sure. Let's go talk to them. No, we're not going to go talk to them. We're not going to do that. All right, I'm but, going. Ma'am, no. Ma'am, step over here. Sir, please. 334, sir. Please send me 94. Please don't. Please don't. Sure. Hey, oh. hey, hey. The deputy quickly observes signs of intoxication, slurred speech, poor motor skills, and confusion about her surroundings. These observations are key in assessing her condition and determining the next steps in ensuring public safety. Do not address me! Do not! I'm not doing Stop anything! Stop you're gonna get tased! Three, three, four. Whoever's in the house, we need to help. Oh, I'm gonna stop my! I'm gonna stop myself! Stop! You're fucking. Despite the officer's request, the woman resists cooperation. She refuses to acknowledge her state and even suggests talking to the bar staff, which the deputy declines, prioritizing her immediate safety and that of others. As the situation escalates, the woman attempts to leave on foot, leading to a physical confrontation. Doing this. Go down. On the ground. Why are you doing this? Why? Roll over. Roll over. Why are you doing this? Why? Why are you doing this? Help me! Help me! This is a critical moment where the officer must balance assertiveness with restraint to manage the situation safely. On the ground, the struggle continues with the woman becoming more agitated, calling for help and expressing distress. The officer's response is to secure her while waiting for backup, highlighting the challenges law enforcement faces during such interventions. Steve, I'm a drunk driver. It's gonna be a mid-30 West female highly intoxicated with brown hair. I'm at, in front of the 305 San Miami Trail. I got her on the ground. Love my community. And I do doing nothing for nothing. Help me. Go roll. Get on your stomach. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. The woman shouts about her contributions to the community and threatens legal action, illustrating the personal and public complexities involved in law enforcement interactions, especially those involving substance use. You got to do right. You do it every time. I got one to do. Clear traffic. Slow response. Help me. Oh, stand up. Help me. Sit down. Yeah, yeah. Roll up. Roll up. Help me. What's going on? Help me. Hey, hey, hey. Help me. What's your name? Help me. She had the uh, she had a car started when I walked up. Help had her turn it off, had her step out. 
Slur. Take a deep breath. Slur, it's Pikachu. I explained why I'm here. Uh, yeah. She started to run away from me. I told her to stop. Exactly. Didn't stop. Exactly. Okay. Grabbed okay, onto her. Favor. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Look at y'all. We're going to stand you up. One, there you two, go. Three. Where's your car at, buddy? There. Take me to the police officer. Take me. Hand me your gloves. This one? Car, Which car is hers? It's the Black Avenger over here. Whatever you guys do, exactly. Whatever you guys do. Go. Hey, you ain't take them up. Good purse, you better leave that shit on me. I got it, I'll search. I got it. Yes! Leave my shit the f on me. We're just gonna sit right here. Stop grabbing. Hey, stop grabbing. It, it's, it's done. Okay, yep. we're done. No, it ain't done. Relax. Get the f off my purse, you little. Relax. You just need to call okay. them out for us. We're taking oh, it. First. I will come. No, you ain't taking it's shit. It's going with you, but we're not gonna keep it on you, okay? Relax. How'd it go, man? It's... Wes. Wes. Are these hers? Those are hers, yeah. I fully thought about what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm totally f***ing... Look at y'all. Just ask her if she's one of Smithfield's prior exercise. I'm sure she'll tell you to piss off, but at least ask her. That's what the f*** y'all are! Hey, can you listen to me real quick? No! F*** you, pig! Wes. We're done. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not, that's not happening. We have hobbles. Bitches, that's what the f*** they are. They're f***ing pig ass. Look at them. They're f***ing pig ass. Look at them, little Let go. Don't you try and bite me. I'm resisting. Oh, look at you! Stop resisting. Get the f*** off! No, stop. Until you calm down, you're staying right where you're at. Because we're not going to get kicked or hurt. So whenever you're done... We're good, we'll just get a blanket. <laughs> right. uh, this side, you can have that side, and then the one on the legs, and we'll just go straight in. Oh, yeah, is that good for you, you dumb mother We'd rather not pick you up and yeah, put you in the feet. Yeah, yeah, shut the f up. Oh, that's not nice. We should be nice to law enforcement. We're here for you. Good? Yep. Right. Watch your face. Oh, I got it. I got it. Yep. No, she ain't Two, three. To lift her up, she's going. Get on that side. <laughs> I can't get on the other side, the bricks are there. Straight to the jail, you're gonna to need to get her there as soon as possible. Yeah. And you'll, uh, if she's the other room. When you go, just double check this stuff for while you're at the jail. So, hit with the UI anyway. The incident ends with the woman in custody reflecting on the delicate nature of police work involving individuals under the influence. His case serves as a reminder of the importance of community awareness and preventive measures against drunk driving. Thanks for watching. We hope that you found this information both informative and engaging. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you never miss a new video.